Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to look at the onboard temperature sensor on this Raspberry Pi Pico board. The manufacturers of this board have already incorporated an inbuilt temperature sensor, which is by default connected to the ADC channel four, that is analog to digital converter channel number four. And you do not have to make any circuit diagram, as you can see. You do not have to connect anything. The temperature sensor is inbuilt into the ADC four, and therefore you have to write this ADC four in the constructor. Four is the pin ID, the analog to digital channel. So first, let me show you the demonstration of this, and then I will explain you the code. And in this case, there is no circuit. You just have to connect your Raspberry Pi Pico to the USB cable or to some power source. First, let me run the Micro Python script. See, this is giving you temperature readings every one second because I have programmed it like this only to give the reading every one second. So now this is showing an ambient temperature of twenty-eight point nine degrees. That is fluctuating. a little bit so now let me apply some heat to the main ic and note i will put it 3 to 4 mm above the ic and you do not have to do this because it can damage your board so let me just put this and now notice the increase in the reading it is 30 31 32 34 36 37 and now when i have removed the heat the temperature is falling so we can say that the temperature is working but note because the temperature is inbuilt and integrated into the silicon it will always show a value which is slightly higher than the ambient because the two cores of this pico board are also working and those are generating some internal heat so you have to calibrate the sensor and use accordingly so let me stop the code and i will tell you about the programming so as for the program of this temperature sensor first you have to import the required libraries from machine you have to import adc adc is the class that deals with the analog to digital conversion on a physical basis there is a 12 bit adc and by means of software implementation the 12 bits are converted to a 16 bit equivalent that is equals to 65535 discrete divisions this is done in order to make the raspberry pi pico board compatible with other boards with support 16 bit adc channels now you have to import another library that is u time to give some time delays use this adc constructor at this default channel or id number 4 in order to create a temperature sensor object or a pin this is the default connection of temperature sensor now while true create an infinite loop first you have to get the raw sensor data raw sensor data equals to temperature sensor you have to apply this method read underscore u16 u means unsigned 16 means 16 bit adc data you have to apply this method on the defined sensor pin you will get the raw sensor data now second step is to convert the raw value to equivalent voltage note this mathematical equation this is like taking the raw sensor data and dividing it with the maximum range that is 65535 for 16 bit adc and then multiplying it with the maximum possible voltage of the system that is 3.3 volts and now you have to convert the voltage to temperature in degree celsius and this equation is given by the raspberry pi board that is the original equipment manufacturer so you have to use this as it is given in the specifications you have to take the sensor voltage here 
then you have to multiply 0.706 and divide the entire equation by this value 0.00172 and then this entire thing has to be subtracted from 27 in order to get the temperature in degree celsius this entire mathematical equation is given by the raspberry pi board members and now you have to print the temperature this is normal printing statement and in the last you have to give some time delay so that is all how we can access the raw sensor data convert it into an equivalent voltage and then finally convert that voltage into a particular temperature reading in terms of degree celsius so thank you very much for watching the video